Okay, back on this audio lab, audio lab 8000M mono power amplifier. Just going to run it, uh, put it through its paces really, just to make sure the distortion is an excessively high and just make sure it's capable of running at some sort of load. Uh, the amplifier's mm, it's warm, it's what you'd expect for a class AB amplifier. It's, it's not, well, I don't know, it's probably only 25 degrees, nothing more than that. Uh, this, so let's put it through, uh, we've got it connected to the audio analyzer and the scope. Um, obviously there's no control on audio, so I've got to have to control this all through the uh, Hewlett-Packard. That's something I must make, I must make a variable attenuator for things like this. So, we're on amplitude now, we're increasing the amplitude slowly. Uh, we're looking at our AC voltage feedback here. So it's at 1 volt. I can't unfortunately give you power feeding readings at the moment. That's two and a half volts. That's six volts. So let's take it up to about I don't know, let's take it up to about See it's starting to warm up a bit now, it's starting to draw a bit of current now. Like you'd expect. So let's increase the mains. 240 volts, that's at 10 volts, all looking good, leave, leave it there for a minute, there's a bit of clicking and popping going on and that's, oh, the transistor is starting to produce a bit of heat now, just stay with it, make sure it doesn't overheat. I'm sure it should be absolutely fine. I've been through everything. But I just don't want to blow it up again. So this is running into one kilohertz. This was a distortion. Not 0.039 percent, which is basically as low as this signal generator, this um, analyzer will measure. So the distortion is excellent. It's clean, clean, nice, clean waveform. Right. Let's get a bit more out of this amplifier. It harder now. Let's get it to 20 volts and measure the power. 19.0 uh, special function. So 50 watts now. So it's a harsh. In theory, it's running at half power. Upper stage is getting quite warm now. And what I'll do is I'll give it a while, then I'll briefly run it up to maximum power. I don't want to run it at full power too long. I don't want to blow the thing up, but. Really, it should be able to cope perfectly well with full power. <coughs> Let's make sure our amplitude increments are the same. Increasing power further. And if I'm starting to sing, you can hear the transformer humming. Putting one amp out of the mains, 250 watts or so. 19.0 uh, special function. 128 watts and it's not clipping. So there we go. I think we can simply say that's fine. Let's turn the power back down. The fire's getting pretty hot now, actually. Rapidly heating up. Okay, turn the power back down. So I think that sums up that this amplifier is absolutely fine. Distortion figures are nice and low, um, which is what you'd expect. So, uh, a nice amplifier, pretty well built, um, a bit lacking in the sort of power supply department possibly with a slightly undersized, underrated um, capacitors, but certainly very low distortion, huge amounts of power, didn't even run it into clipping, um, and it's uh, cooking up my load bank quite nicely, so yeah, thanks for watching.